views that are expressed by people, you'll, you won't get through this whole slide. I can just summarize for you. Um, essentially, McKinsey, uh, institutional investor, another entity called the Clearinghouse, um, made their assessments of a number of the regulatory changes that were proposed and came out with various kind of doomsday assessments. Uh, I think the first comment from McKinsey suggests that banks will have to double their profits in order to, to generate the same return on equity. Banks will have to raise one and a half trillion dollars in equity. Uh, earnings will fall. Um, banks will have to lend less. I mean, that's another, you know, part of this isn't about banks making money. It's to the extent that uh, you have to raise capital, there's your capital ratios, there's two ways of doing that. One is to issue more stock and raise equity or cut your dividends and retain your equity. Another way is to just shrink your balance sheet. And unfortunately, shrinking your balance sheet is either selling you know, treasuries that you're holding or just making fewer loans to people. And I don't, there, aren't, there aren't a lot of people out there who want to see banks' balance sheet shrink by having them make fewer loans. So part of the, uh, the magic in this process is figuring out how to make all the regulatory changes and not do it in a way that's uh, ultimately detrimental to, uh, to, to growth.